Good evening, good afternoon, good morning. <laughs> For those of you who are on the podcast platforms out there, welcome to the Leadership TKO Live Night Show. And um, I'm glad to be here with you guys on tonight, really every night, okay, because we go live every single night around 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And so what I intend to do tonight, everyone, we're about to go live on Facebook, so please stand by. Welcome and good evening. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Leadership TKO Live Night Show. Welcome, everyone. Lakeisha McKnight is here, your leadership specialist, your wealth mentor, author of a few books, online entrepreneur, but most importantly, everybody, your friend, and I welcome you here to the show. I know that we've already gone live on the podcast platforms out there, and right now we're live on Facebook. Uh, remember, this show goes live every single night around 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and we welcome each and every one of you here. Now, when I say we, I'm talking about everyone, of course, that helps to make this possible, all right? Everyone that contributes to making sure that content is good and, and so that we can go forth and go live on the platforms out here. And so again, welcome aboard. So we're just taking a little bit of time. I know Facebook is letting you all know that uh, we're live right now at this moment. And so listen, uh, with this show, the purpose of the show really is to empower leaders like yourself with the ability to win from the inside out, growing your influence, your impact, and your income. That is what we intend to help you in those areas. For those of you who are looking to grow your influence so that you truly, truly can help others to, to achieve a certain level of success they're looking for, you want to make sure you remain plugged into the show, okay? And then you may be someone who wants to have a bigger impact on the lives of your target market. Then yes, plug into the show. And then perhaps you want to grow your income. Maybe you're sick and tired of working and exchanging hours for dollars. And I encourage you to remain plugged into the show on a steady basis. And so there are a few ways that you all can participate with the show. Number one, like or love the stream. That's right. Like or love the stream. Hit the love button. Throw those hearts along the way as you're plugged in. Secondly, there's the comment section. Yes, we have a comment section. And those of you, man, you all have been rocking it out. You all have been engaging truly. And I'm so appreciative of you all plugging in and showing that love. So go ahead below in the comment section. Really state your city, state, and country, where you're watching this from. And if you're catching the replay of this, go ahead and hashtag replay, okay, and your city, state, and country. All right, so it doesn't matter if you're catching this live with a replay, make sure you let me know below if you're catching the replay of this, all right? And then lastly, we do have that share button. So feel free to go ahead and share this out. You can share this out on your timelines, groups, fan pages, all of the above. It's really, really up to you. Or do a watch party, okay? You can also do a watch party. This alerts everyone in your network so that they can be in on this particular live information that's going to be shared. Now, tonight is not going to be a full-blown training. I'm just going to give you a heads up. I know many of you see the title of the stream, and I know I've asked you to send this out. So listen, I like to practice what I preach, and so I'm going to go ahead and send this out as well. I normally send it out to a couple of business colleagues of mine, so I'm going to go ahead and do that inside of a group called the Winner's Circle. So I'm going to send it out. And I know that my fellow Wealth Builders Worldwide family is tuning in. So hello, WBW. And I'm also going to send this out to my fan page. I do have a fan page as well. So I'm going to go ahead and send it out there. So you all want to make sure you plug into this. I don't know how many of you have an interest in professional speaking. How many of you have an interest in speaking? All right, public speaking, live streaming, you ever want to be on a stage somewhere, for those of you who are tuning in right now or catching it a little later, if that is an aspiration of yours, you want to make sure you plug in, I'm telling you. Uh, many of you know that I'm affiliated with the John Maxwell team, right? I'm a part of his company, you know, as a, as a certified speaker, trainer, and coach. But even before then, 
Okay. Speaking has been my baby. I started off, you know, with gaining experience in the speaking profession as an actress. I mean, if you even probably don't know this, but as an actress, I did, I was, a, I participated in an acting troupe in New Jersey and Pennsylvania. It was called the Positive Impact Ensemble. And I studied acting for four years, theatrical training. So I had an acting coach uh, who helped me to really work the stage and understand movements, postures, gestures, how to project my voice, how to speak impromptu, all of these different things that's important to communication. And it's not about using fancy words. It's not about trying to sound like you're about to give a sermon. It's really about how the message is conveyed and whether the recipients can fully receive it, whether they're digesting the information that's being sent. Okay. It's about how you're presenting it, your delivery. And so many of you, you probably don't know, but I, I definitely have published some work. It's probably a little blurry. It's called professional speaking. So I'm not like necessarily putting this out there, but it is available on Amazon seven steps to becoming, you know, to really becoming a paid professional speaker, but it does give you tips. Maybe you don't want to be a full-time speaker. Maybe you don't want to get paid for speaking, but you want to enhance your skill set. Well, Guess what the subtitle of the book says? The subtitle says how anyone can master the art and business of speaking. So if for those of you who have a desire to speak, yes, the book is on Amazon. So you want to make sure you grab a copy of it. But I'm going to give you an idea of some of the things that I've learned throughout the years that's really helped me. I know some of you are like, man, how can I enhance my speaking ability, especially knowing that this is what we're doing now. We're on Zooms. We're on live live streams. We're doing, we're on StreamYard and, and, and all these different platforms and we're speaking virtually and you still can impact lives and get paid to speak virtually. All right. So let me share with you a couple of tips and strategies that's going to help you all uh, again to really do your live streams. And again, let me just preface it by saying this. You don't have to be fancy. You don't have to have your face dialed up. I just got a, some eyeshadow on and some lip gloss threw on some earrings, put on a button down. I was like, I'm about to go live. <laughs> That's it. Okay. That's all I have. No foundation. No, I didn't put my eyebrows on. Look, okay, ladies, you know how that is. I didn't put my eyebrows on. I didn't put on all this whole big old mask just to get in front of you for a couple of minutes. That's not what it's about. People are here to see what it is that you have to say. So let's get down to it, okay? I know you're waiting for it. So when you're doing your live streams, the first thing I want you to think about when it comes to overcoming the fear, because this is like one of the number one fears that people have. Be besides, of course, the fear of death, people have a fear of speaking, period. Whether it's in front of a big group of people or in front of a computer where there's nobody here, but you're just speaking, but you're really speaking to thousands of people, all right? So the one thing you wanna keep in mind is your appearance. So I've alluded and I shared, it depends on what your message is about. It depends on who your audience is. You want to keep these things in mind. All right. Because if you're speaking to high school students, look, they don't want you to be up there with a suit jacket on. Most of them feel comfortable when you come up there with a jersey on with a team that maybe that relates to them. Or if you really are kind of just like laid back. Okay. They can relate to that. So it really depends on your audience. If I'm speaking to adults and they're concerned about their income, for example, yes, it may be appropriate for me to have this button down because they want to see that I'm professional. Now I don't necessarily have to have a suit jacket on a three piece suit. It's so funny because some of you probably seen those memes, right? Where people have on their pajamas from this part down <laughs> and then they have a nice shirt on. I know that's what people do, okay? And they do their work and their jobs from home and they just, they looking like whatever from this part down and then they have a button up. Like that's the funniest thing in the world. Do you all agree with me on that? I think that's hilarious. Like right now, no, I don't have nothing on below. Okay, listen, I just want to give you a heads up about that too. I am fully clothed, but I'm only making this point because it's just so funny, those memes out there. But you want to be careful of, what you're wearing. Like your hair has to be put together in a decent way. It doesn't have to be done up. You go get your hair did. You don't have to go get some hair and attach some hair to it. Look, that is not necessary. Okay. That is really not necessary. You want to make sure you're presentable when it comes to your hair, ladies, and make sure you have a pretty decent haircut, fellas. We don't want you to be wolfed out. 
talking about some, hi, my name is John. No offense to the Johns out there. But listen, you need to be well kept, groomed, tightened up, okay? Let's just make sure it's presentable. So your appearance. Secondly, your script. What are you going to say? You need to know, okay? It does not have to be the case where, listen, it's word for word, but you gotta have an idea. You gotta have an idea of what you're trying to say. Like tonight, I was preparing five keys to overcoming what? The fear of live streams. Like how do, like there's a lot of people who'd wanna do live streams, they just don't know how, they're afraid. They're like, I am uh, shaking in my boots, <laughs> okay? Trying to figure out how am I gonna do this thing? Like. If, are people going to really hear me? Do they really want to hear what I have to say? There are people who do want to hear what you have to say. That's why they're connected with you on Facebook. Okay, that's probably the reason why we're connected. Because you have you want to learn more. And I'm learning too. I have plenty of mentors out there. You all know some of them because those, they're your mentors too. But have an idea of what you want to say. It doesn't have to be memorized. Like, I did not memorize this. I did not memorize everything word for word. And if you do that, it sounds less authentic. So don't do it. So scripting is important. Third, plan. Oh my goodness, please plan. Okay, what are you going to say when you first going to get onto the stream? Are you just going to look and stare? <laughs> no, that's really awkward, first of all. So you don't want, just want to come on and just stare. You want to have something planned, okay? Introduce yourself. Are you doing this on behalf of your company or are you just doing this because it's just a random something is happening, a public announcement that you're making? What is it? Like introduce yourself at the beginning, say what you want to say, summarize what you already said. Share with them what you want to say, say what you want to say, and then summarize what you have said. That's essentially what you're doing when you're on a live stream. Most people have an issue, especially for those of you who are entrepreneurs, when you do not give someone a call to action, what do you expect for them to do? Tell them what you want them to do, all right? If you don't tell them, they have no clue. And again, this is stuff that I share inside of this book here, I'm telling you, all right? Also, check your equipment. Make sure your computer is working. You might wanna shut your computer down. A lot of people don't shut their computer down and their computer just been on for like two, three weeks and then you go live and you're wondering what's wrong. It's because you didn't give your your you didn't give your laptop time to breathe. It's like help, it's gasping for air. You really want to do a fresh reboot before you do a live stream. It kind of helps to work out some of those kinks. And then give yourself time because maybe some apps you're using needs to be updated. You don't want to catch yourself rebooting your laptop or your phone and then it says updating and then you're late. Give yourself time, okay? Give yourself that extra 20, maybe 30 minutes beforehand, reboot and make sure those apps are fresh. Make sure your lighting is good. Of course, I got a virtual background. Make sure that's squared away, right? I love the beach. If, if, if I had anywhere to live, I'm telling you, boop, beach, okay? Me and the beach are like this, okay? We're like one. I don't care what beach it is. <laughs> so I love the beach, but make sure your background is appeasing. Like I had to change it up. And I know many of you probably enjoy a change, right? You enjoy a change. Yes, I like to be in the studio, but I like to be out in nature too. I'm a nature girl. I like to be outside, okay? Maybe not with the bugs, but I like to be outside in nature with water and the sun. I just love that stuff. That's just me, okay? Check your equipment. And then lastly, Take a few deep breaths before you start. Some of you, you got those nerves, the butterfly in the stomach. You, you heard of that, right? You can work all of that out if you just... If you all realize that many people don't know how to breathe. Have you ever, have you ever took... Uh, have you ever realized that most people are not breathing correctly? You're, you're really not breathing correctly. How many of you ever really truly did a deep breath? Like you just took a deep breath. That's all, and it relaxes you. But here's what I come to understand throughout all my years of acting and speaking is that the nerves, they're gonna still be there. It shouldn't be to the point where it cripples you, but it's just a sign that you really wanna do your very best. So don't think that, oh, you know, I don't know why I'm so nervous. I don't, I don't know why it's there because you wanna do your very best. And I still get nervous from time to time. You can ask some of my, the people who are closest to me. They'll tell you like, oh my gosh, you, Lakeisha inboxed me. And she's like, I don't know. Like, 
Yeah. Yeah, that's that's what Keisha. And that's only because I want to ensure that I do my best. And I know that's how you feel as well. So please rest assured, these are just some strategies and tips that's going to really help you. But if you really want to get deep, <laughs> this is a resource that you want to grab a hold of. Make sure you share this with everyone that is a professional entrepreneur, wants to do better when it comes to communication and doing live streams. All right. So if this has helped you at all, go ahead and share in the comment section what you thought about what it is that I've shared tonight. This is really just to propel you all forward. And I'm hoping and praying that this has really done you some good. All right. And so we'll be back with some more fresh content. But for those of you who really, really want to just enhance yourselves on Facebook, there's some training for that. And all you need to do is send me an inbox message and say Facebook training, and I'll give you direction as to where you can go to get access to some Facebook training information. And then also, yes, I am a, I'm a, I am a business owner. And my husband and I, we are in business. We have multiple streams of income that we generate. We are people who are, we care about your cash flow. We care about, you know, building wealth that's really, you know, going to be able to impact our children and children's children to put, to put them in a position where they will never need to work a job ever. And that's what we've done for our four and our seven year old. And so if you're looking to do something like that, you're looking for a way by which you don't have to worry about, you know, you can exit your job. You can make a couple few hundred dollars every month or every week. It is pretty lucrative. And if you're looking for that information, we do have a presentation that's going to happen tonight around nine o'clock PM Eastern standard time. Make sure you get back with the person that shared this stream with you, because I'm quite sure they're wealth builder and they'll give you more information. And if you need it from me, if you're watching on my timeline, you know where to go. Write to Messenger, and I'll make sure you get the information to be with me on the platform live at nine. All right? So thank you so very much, everybody, for tuning in. You all be blessed. And until the next time that you and I, we, uh-huh, you and I, we come back together again, I encourage you to think, to speak, and to live leadership. Good night, good morning, good afternoon, and God bless.